So you were in Germany, 1941 to 45? Yep. Okay. I might have been over there. Well, I took my basic mate training to Camp Blatty, Florida. And I was down there with four years, I think, or something like that. What branch of service were you in? Field artillery. Were you in the Army? Army? Uh, the Army, yeah, I was in the Army. Okay. Field, field artillery. And I uh, took my basic in Camp Blaney, Florida. Got on the ship. Went down over to the higher plants. Got off there and wound up in Belgium. And after that, I was here all over. Yep. Now you said that you, you said a, a bomb was or a, something was lobbed into the uh, supply? Supply, see, yeah, I, I, I got, well, I got put into a field artillery. So they put me in the hall of supplies for them. And then for the fire battery, I was in service battery. So I didn't have to haul, I uh, to stay, bring it in and put it this, wherever the staging area was. So we downloaded it. And on our trips all the time, the Germans would set up treasure bullets and try to have us answer them, see, but we would do it. So we unloaded, and finally the Germans found and got the location to drop some shells there. And that's how I got us from. We were still there on the road. Yep. Yeah, it blew up in your face. Huh? It blew up in your. Oh yeah, it got. Yeah. Did, did you, uh, did you, did you, did you encounter any Germans? Like face to face, did you encounter any Germans? Well, they were all so many troops and so many outfits moving here and there. It was tough. But did you ever run into any Germans? Oh, we see Germans. After the war, a little bit, quite a bit. Hell yeah, yeah. When they were, when they were that yeah. captive, huh? When they were, when they were held captive. Well, I tell you what, it was awful. You never knew from one minute to, to where you were going to be or, or who was going to get to you. You never knew that. It was on the move. Did you ever see anybody from concentration camps? No, but I've seen guys from here, over there. There was a guy by the name of Bailey. Glenn Bailey used to live right up here. He was there. Barney Cooper used to live up here. Down in Spitport, there was a guy, Metzer. I met them all. And you well, saw Well, what happened? The brothers were wise. They live around here. And they, Found out what my address was over there. They told each other that they nailed it over to them, and that's how they located it. So you met guys that lived down the street from you here, but you met them in Europe. Hell, oh hell. Wow. I met uh, Marty Cooper, Glenn Bailey, Metzer, and there was another one. Now, did you know them when you lived here? Oh, yeah, I knew them. Okay, oh, you just didn't know they were over there and you didn't know where? No, no, I didn't know where they were. But see, how they found out, and they're the wives. See, I wasn't married or nothing. I was just a kid, young. Right. Yeah. So, were you scared going over there? I had no choice. No. I just went to service and that was it. I was took my training to Camp Blatty, Florida, down there. Then we moved up to Fort Dix, New Jersey, put us on the boat the next day, and we were about 13 days going over. Were you motivated by Pearl Harbor to go, to join? Um, was that a motivating factor? Oh, we got there, uh, and we went over like in convoy. convoy and some of them went towards the Mediterranean, and some went toward England or that way. We went straight up in uh, Pearl Harbor, that uh, 
call it there, what the heck they call it. Did you, did you join the service um, after Pearl Harbor, or were you already part of the service? Oh, no, I was, all, no, I was drafted, actually. Okay, after Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor was over here, but... But, but you were drafted after Pearl Harbor. But then... Is that correct? I was going to come home when the end war ended over there. But we were going to go to the Pacific. But that's when they, the Japs dropped their bombs over there. Right. So we didn't have to go. So that's what gave us a... So were you already in the service when Pearl Harbor happened? Were you already in the service? No, I wasn't there, but I was there when they dropped the bombs on uh, some of our outfits. They were over there, but I was I was over in Europe. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what, what what was it? Do you remember what you th what you thought or what you felt after uh, Pearl Harbor? Well, there was so much going on, and it just kept us on the move. I didn't know. 